Hello, this is Keith Cooks. I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you how to make tomato consomme with probably the best cheese on toast you'll ever have in your life. So, summer is upon us, and so are mountains and mountains of cheap tomatoes. And one of the things you can do with them is make this consomme. It's very, very easy, amazingly tasty, and good as a uh, light lunch or a starter for a, a bigger meal. Okay, ingredients, a load of tomatoes. We've got about 1.8 kilos here. A beetroot, of which I'll probably just use half. Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, and a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Um, your tomatoes, you can use any kind of tomatoes as long as they're nice and ripe and tasty. And you could, you, you know, you could use a mixture of different kinds. First thing to do, chop them up. So, no particular technique, just half it, quarter it, eighth it, like that. Because this is going to go in the blender and get destroyed anyway. <laughs> The um, beetroot, this is pre-cooked, and then we add the vinegar and a generous sploosh of Worcester sauce. If you don't have an industrial strength blender, you'll probably need to do this in um, two or three stages, batches. Okay, here's our uh, tomato and beetroot pulp. Now, what I... <clears throat> What you should do is, um, you need to filter it now through a couple of layers of cheesecloth, but I've, I've only got this much cheesecloth and that's, um, that's going to be far too much to put in there. So I'm just going to do a, a first stage filtering through a, a, a normal colander. So I've got a fair bit of liquid drained out already. Now I'm going to put the pulp into the muslin cloth, tie the four corners together and we'll hang it up over the over a, a bowl. Ooh, look at that. I'll scrape that into the bowl at some point, probably. So we just leave that there till it stops dripping. Well it's not dripping now, it's pouring, but it will stop pouring and will start dripping and um, this could take a few hours. So this is still dripping away. Um, let's have a little taste. Woo! That tastes like tomato. And the beetroot gives it a really intense red color. It's fantastic. So um, I'll just leave that going for as long as it takes. Um, once, once you've decided you've got enough liquid out of it, you can keep the pulp, freeze it even, and, and use it in, in other kinds of sauces. But the liquid, wow. So to make the cheese on toast, uh, which is basically Welsh rabbit, I've got a couple of thick slices of really nice bread. I've got one egg, I've got 50 grams of Old Amsterdam cheese and a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Old Amsterdam, if you've never had it, it's matured Gouda. Now, I, I never saw the point of those Dutch cheeses, Edam or Gouda, because they were just flavourless, rubbery things coated in wax and, you know, pretty yuck. But if you um, have some Gouda that's been matured, like this, it, it's, it's transformed into something absolutely marvellous. It's wonderful, packed with umami and other good stuff. So, first thing to do, toast the bread. Second thing, combine the cheese and the egg. Get all the cheese coated in egg. And then add a splash of Worcester sauce. Stir that in. That's it. Um, now we'll wait for the toast to be done. Then we place a spoonful of the cheese mixture on each piece of toast and grill it until it's nice and melty bubbly. Right, here it is. I've had a sprig of basil infusing in the tomato and beetroot consomme for about half an hour. 
Wow. Flavour of that is so intense. Mmm. And the cheese on toast, well, I'll eat that anytime. <laughs> you see it's been sitting in the in the consomme for a bit, so it's soaked some up and it's uh Oh, it's an amazing combination. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, you got to make this. It's great.